Hi, Floss Tube. Hi, Floss Tube. I'm Chris. I'm Jane. And we're the Boss Stitchers. Today is July 27th, and this is episode 49. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we haven't seen you in a while. I think it's been about a month. Uh, yeah, it has. Uh, July's been a busy month. Yeah. Hope you've been having a great summer as well. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's great to have you back. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, so those who are, are returning, nice to see you again. And um, any new subscribers, um, thanks for um, checking us out. And I uh, hope you like what you see. Yeah. And at the end today, we're going to, uh, we reached a milestone. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have uh, some past the stash. So stick around for that. Yep. yep. So, Jane, mm. you've been busy. So I we just got back from um, vacation. Yeah. Um, we went to the Canadian Rockies, and it was... It was great. Yeah, it looks I spectacular. Mean, yeah, um, yeah, the scenery yeah. is it's hard to take a bad picture. It's just <laughs> so beautiful. And the we, fact that you were gone when it was like 95 and the shade <laughs> right. here didn't yeah. hurt either. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we started out in Vancouver and then we took the train. We, we um, took the train overnight uh, to Jasper. And then we went to um, Lake Louise, we went to Banff, and ended up in um, Calgary. Nice. Uh, so it was, yeah, it was a great trip. Yeah, um, you covered I, a lot of ground. We did. Um, and um, I'll put in a few pictures um, in case you guys uh, would like to see them. There's there's one great picture, um, and, and the water in the, in the um, pictures... Is, that's the real color of the water. I mean, Unretouched. That, yeah, so all the glacier runoff. Um, we got to walk on an ice field. We wow. went canoeing on Lake Louise. We did whitewater rafting. Ooh. So it was a very busy um, vacation. And we got home at um, <laughs> like 3.30. I walked in my house I dumped out my suitcase, I filled it up again, and at 5.30, <laughs> I came to Chris's house so that we could drive to New Jersey to the New Jersey Floss Tube Retreat. You are so, a real uh, <laughs> So I was tired. Uh, I slept good that night. Um, but uh, yeah, we had fun. We, we had, had a great time. We had fun there yeah, too. We'll and talk I, more about yeah, that. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Yeah. Um, but um, we have been doing some stitching. We have. Um, and would you like to throw out the first stitch? I'd love to. Okay. Play ball! Well, this was a little one. Anybody that knows me well <laughs> <laughs> knows how I am a sucker for Pine Mountain. And 123 had a sale a while ago. And uh, I guess they ran out, so it took a little while to get it, but that's fine. It actually arrived the day that we were leaving. So I threw that in my bag. Mm -hmm. And, well, I'd say I've got a start, but, you know, the Pine Mountain, uh, a start is almost uh, a finish. Yeah, right. <laughs> it should have been a finish, but yeah. it'll be a finish next time. Yeah. This is my uh, first one. Yeah, I always... Uh, do a bunch of these for work gifts at Christmas. Mm -hmm. And this is the first one, so. You gotta get moving. I gotta get cracking. <laughs> <laughs> do you have them all bought yet, or? Um, I don't know if I do. I'm gonna okay. have to check on okay. that. All right. Um, you know what, what happened with that? Oh, good thing Jane's here. <laughs> Uh, so I worked on this quite a bit at the retreat. Mm. And this is one I really should have had finished by now, too. I'm sorry for that thread attached over there. But this is, uh, yeah, I did get a lot done on that. This is Prairie School of Santa 2018. It says, That's a good Let one. Let it snow. This, I love this, too. I love yeah. that silhouette of the... Um, rabbit against the snowman yeah the snowman's really, face is really cute it too. is yeah yeah that was really fun to work on and i had like big blocks of color uh -huh. so always it was a good a thing good, at um, a retreat yeah i didn't even really think beforehand of doing this but of course i had a bag of a few projects and uh 
<laughs> when I saw that one, I thought, oh, I, think I'll, I think I'll go with that. Yeah. And I've been working along on my pool project <laughs> in plastic canvas. The pie coasters. This is a really What's fun called? one. Sweetest pie Sweetest coasters. Pie. Yeah. It's the Hirschner's kit. And uh, I did get a fair amount done since last time. You can yeah. actually see that this is going to be a piece of pie. Nice. Yeah. So, I don't Pretty know, colors. I should be. Uh, yeah, it is. I like the reds. Mm -hmm. um, that should be fun to continue to now work on. Now, that came with a complete kit. It came with the, yes, with the um, it came tins with the and everything. tins and all the, nice. you know, thread and, yeah, yeah. That's great. Once I finish that, I think I'll move on to lemon meringue. Okay. What are you planning on doing with them? Um, they might be a gift. I don't know, depending. Okay. Um, well, my birthday's coming up. That's uh, duly yeah. noted, Jane. <laughs> I got to work fast. Yeah. So I guess that solves that problem. <laughs> and then this is a knitting one. <clears throat> and <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know if I mentioned much of this last time, but... <laughs> I had, once again, ridiculously high hopes. So I always say I am a perennial knitter. And this is a, this shouldn't be that hard, but it takes a bit of concentration for me. And I have made a number of mistakes, but usually I rip everything out and start from the beginning. And I thought, uh-uh, I am just going ahead. <laughs> So I did that like I feverishly worked on it for a week. And then I thought, you know what? You've been working on this a lot and you got this much done. And it's for my good friend Janine's uh, first grandchild. Mm. The shower is not this Saturday, but next Saturday. And it occurred to me <laughs> this wasn't going to happen. Yeah. Plus, it's called a rainbow mm. blanket. But um, I also realized... The pink does, is somewhat the prominent predominant. color. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And she is having a boy, ah. so that mm. kind of gave me another reason to mm -hmm. put this one aside. Well, so that's for future. So one of your friends someday is going to exactly. have a girl for a and grandchild, I'll, and so. I'll have a start on this. So, yeah. well, maybe you should finish it, and then you can just put it away that's and then true. pull that's it out. That's right? my dream to yeah. have things ready. You yeah. know. <laughs> On demand. Right. <laughs> I've yet to realize that dream, but you know, <laughs> hope something to strive for. <laughs> and that's it for me. All right. Um, so um, I've been working on some projects from um, our Boss Me board, and Boss Me is a takeoff on uh, Whipco that uh, Chris and I do with our friends, uh, Missy and Kathy, um, Two Needles Pulling Thread. And we pick four numbers every month. And um, some of us have varying degrees of success. <laughs> but, um, but this time I was a little smarter and a little less ambitious with my uh, chart. So um, I had this one. This is um, by called, less uh, ambitious. Yeah. You mean long dog samplers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say less ambitious? I meant um, more realistic. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this is called um, Anzac, and it's um, by Long Dog Samplers. And um, I like this because um, my husband and I went to Australia on our honeymoon, um, so I thought that that would be fun to do. And this is, and I didn't have the strength to take it out of my cue snap. <laughs> so, and I also have a thread. I also have a thread hanging, but um, I did start in the middle um, and um, working on a 28 count linen. It's called sand, and it's a Zweigart fabric. And every time you show this, I'm going to have to say how I just love this color combination. Mm. That's cognac, right? Yeah. 
yeah, this is, yes, this is cognac. Um, let's see if I can pull it out here. Yeah, so, and I, I chose this color because it, it reminds me of the um, dirt <laughs> in, um, in Australia um, at Uluru um, or Ayers Rock. Uh, so I'm stitching it all with um, cognac. Uh, so right now, um, this is part of Australia, the continent, and then I mm. have to, so this is all fill in. Um, so that's a lot of fill in. Yeah, but, a lot. Oh, um, I see where it is now. Yeah, yeah, it's the, <laughs> it's the big uh, bowl here. Yeah. So. Uh, all right. And then, so actually that was um, on my boss me board and that was, it was to work on Anzac for 10 hours, which I did. Okay. So that was that, so check. <laughs> and uh, another one was um, to work on Halloween this way. And this is uh, primitive hair. And uh, this is, I'm stitching this on 30 count uh, linen called Dark Spell. And you don't really get and, the full um, impact, I think, but that fabric is... Yeah, it's... Well, I guess it is made for it, but right, it is absolutely right. perfect. But you can see all the vines and trees, and so um, I started, in this one, again, I started in the middle, and I, um, on my boss me board, it was to finish a sign, and I finished Ooh, a okay. sign, and again, I didn't take it out of the Q-snap, uh, but this is um, this is one of the signs that's done, and I started you working on it. Made a lot of progress one. on that at the retreat, and you yeah, kept going. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. Um, that was a good I plan, worked on this though, almost exclusively. Yeah, at the retreat. Yeah, you can see. Um, so this is some of the fabric yeah. on the top. So it's gonna look really cool when it's yes, done, yeah. but there's a lot, there's a <laughs> lot of stitching in this. All of the signs are, you know, completely filled in. Is that thirty-two um, count? It's thirty count. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, this is the uh, needle minder that I got um, at StitchCon. I got it from <clears throat> um, from Rebel Stitcher, and. This is the needle winder that uh, we were given at the New Jersey Floss Tube Retreat. So, so one sign down and six to go. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Halloween 2030? <laughs> um, so at the New Jersey Floss Tube Retreat, they had um, a challenge for people to stitch on um, six projects, and it was stitch on three for three hours on, was it Friday? Friday? Yep. And then three for three hours, you know, one hour per project on Saturday. Um, I didn't have six projects. Um, to bring, but the first day I well, did, I can see the, you probably don't really have six I, whips going. I no, yeah. I, I no, yeah. I don't. Um, at least you know ones that would be you know a, appropriate. <laughs> I you know I'd, I'd be finishing them if right, I worked on right. for another hour. But <laughs> anyway, um, so but I did that bring three projects, um, and those were the two I brought. Um, let's see, I brought. Actually, I only stitched on Halloween this way. And what was the other one that I stitched on? Hmm. Oh, oh, my um, temperature butterflies. Oh, okay. I didn't bring that because I really didn't get a lot done on it. So she um, didn't. And I no. <laughs> and, I'm, 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 and I'm far. Um, I still have to do June. Um, and now July is almost done. So I really have to get going on that. But. I think July. And, I mean, what's the what's the color for hot? Is yeah. it red? Or I think <laughs> no, it just... I, I'll just fill it all in. Yeah. Um, I did bring. 
um, this, though, this is a Bluebird's Message, uh, Luminous Fiber Arts. And um, so, yeah, I brought this and I thought, well, you know, I could maybe stitch on this if I get tired of stitching on the other thing. Um, and so I used this, but I did not get very far in the hour. Um, and you may remember that I, I said that I thought, you know, this would be a great idea to, um, you know, have a cute little finish and um, stitch this one over one, which I did, which I started stitching it one over one. And that border, oh my God, that almost <laughs> killed me. So then I started down here on the bird and then during the retreat, I started up here on the heart. Um, so, like I said, I didn't get much done. I am stitching it one over one. I think this is probably, it's got to be a 28 count. I don't think it's any smaller than that. Yeah, I think um, so. Otherwise, I, I would be dead right now. But <laughs> um, So, I stitched a little bit on that. Um, but that's really all the stitching I got done. So, I didn't stitch really at all um, you didn't have time in Canada. You didn't have vacation, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. By the end of the day, I was so tired, yeah. you know. And then, you Couldn't know, honestly, straight. you know, when we were on the train, we were on the train for two days, but um, the scenery was just so gorgeous. Yeah. I, you know, I really didn't stitch much. Yeah. So, we'll give you a pass yeah. for that. <laughs> okay. And then I, I thought, <laughs> oh, you know, it's like a five-hour, um, you know, um, plane. Line. Yeah. Um, but... Um, on the way home, I was just so tired yeah. and, you know. You had to rest anyway, up to drive yeah. to New Jersey. <laughs> That's right, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, anyway, I think we should talk about the New Jersey floss tube retreat. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was terrific. Yeah. I think Jane and I kind of went with the idea, oh, you know, we'll give this a try and mm -hmm. see what it's all about. And, um, yep. you know, there's so many retreats and things. It's fun to try them. But, like, now we are totally I'm convinced sold. to go mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. It is a great deal, for one thing. And, you know, for us, it's easy to get to. Yep. And, in fact, that drive was even easier than we expected. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it really both was. ways, yeah. you know, yeah. we did not run into the traffic that we expected. Yeah, a great group of people. Mm -hmm. There's about a hundred people there, yeah. mainly floss tubers, and a lot of floss tubers. I think yeah. some, you know, pretty much everybody's on Instagram, um, but um, yeah, and a lot of floss tubers. So yeah, we got to. Um, we got to meet, uh, you know, some people that we've been watching, you know, forever. Um, uh, Jessie Marie from Jessie Marie Does Stuff. Which I have to add, she yeah. had, um, is there a moment in time? Is that the name of that piece? I want to say in the moment. In the moment. Yeah. I think you're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, she brought that for the Bragg table. Her haid. And yeah. that was incredible. Um, mm -hmm. It was really fun to see a piece like that in person mm -hmm. that you've seen someone work on, and it, it is huge. Yeah, and uh, her Stitches stitching are... was flawless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It that was amazing. Yeah, I um I did take a video of the brag table, which right. I will um, insert uh, yeah. at some point in this video. Um, Let's see, who else? Uh, we met McKenna from Stitching in Sequins. Um, Ingeborg. Yes. Um, uh, a Stitch Too Far. Yeah, yeah. Um, who else? Well, of, of course, course, Arlene. Yeah. Man, it <laughs> right. Works by ABC. Right. Um, yep. And she did a fantastic job yeah. of organizing it. Yeah. Um, Jane's going to show some of the swag that we got, but mm -hmm. it was terrific, really. Yeah. And um, we had a nice pizza dinner all together one night. Mm -hmm. That yep. was fun. Yep. And uh, it was so convenient. Uh, it was The hotel was located um, down the street from Needleworkers Delight. So we made a trip there. We took a couple of um, people with us mm -hmm. that wanted to ride down there. So really had everything. It was a great yeah. location in terms of um, 
being uh, right there next to restaurants and things. So yep. no time, no stitching time was wasted no. driving up. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a Miller's Ale House, there's a Longhorn Steakhouse, there's, uh, uh, and then if you needed anything or forgot anything, mm -hmm. there's a Walmart right nearby. There's, there's a Dunkin', Dunkin Donuts, Donuts attached. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a great, uh, it's a great location. Um, so, uh, yeah, let me show you um, the uh, swag bag that we got, mm -hmm. which is uh, very impressive. Yes. Um, we got um, this uh, tote bag. Um, and this was the logo for the 2022 retreat. Um, we, and this was the... Uh, chart that we got so I think I'll be stitching this I think that's pretty it is pretty yeah yeah, yeah. Um, we got a um, tumbler again with the logo and then we got a um, we got a, a project bag with the New Jersey Floss 2 Retreat signature on it. Um, we got a uh, notebook for stitching notes. Um, we got some project labels. Uh, we got a couple pieces of um, fabric, um, some banding. Uh, let's see. Those are pretty colors. A couple of, um, we got some weeks, um, a couple of skeins of, uh, weeks. Just a curse. Santa that Cruz and the, Aqua. Uh, band. I go. guess that was her thought. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm -hmm. let's see. We got a, um, a floss holder. And a scissor fob says uh, New Jersey Cross Stitch Retreat or New Jersey Retreat 2022. It's like a bottomless bag. Yeah. Yeah. There's some pens in here. Um, there's an, we got an ORT container and an ORT support. Um, whoops. My support is at the bottom. But uh, this was made by um, a woman named Barbara. Um, and I'm going to, I, there was also uh, raffles. And Chris and I were lucky enough to um, win um, some of the raffles. Chris cleaned up. Um, <laughs> but I won a very mm. nice raffle. Yes, you did. Um, my um, piece was stitched by Barbara. Um, so it's gorgeous. We got a couple of charms. Here's the state of New Jersey uh, with uh, 2022 on it. Um, so uh, just a, a lot of really, really fun stuff. Um, like I said, uh, there were, um, oh, we also got um, some Krynik. Um, so, you know, every, you pulled out, you know, one thing after another and like, oh, this is good. Oh, well, I could use this or, you know, so it was just um, very, very nice. Yeah. Um, and it, we would be remiss not to mention our table. We got together <laughs> yeah. with mm -hmm. our friend Maureen, who mm -hmm. we had um, Hi, Maureen. met in person last year at Need a Worker's Delight. Yeah. And Tessa joined us. It was mm -hmm. her first retreat. Yep. She's and from Virginia. Trisha and Amy were also at the table, yeah. and we got to see our friends Helen and Luann, mm -hmm. who we met at Stitching at the Farm last yep. year, yep. and their whole table. It was yep. great to see them again. Yep. Look forward to seeing them in November. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bev and great. Sylvia, mm -hmm. um, who are sisters, and um, we uh, they were at StitchCon and oh, that's we've, right. you, we've been trying to like, we, from StitchCon. Yeah, 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 we've been kind of 
crossing paths uh, here and there. Um, yeah, so Trisha from Three Owls Threads and um, Abby from Abby um, Top Knot. Um, those, they were at our table. Um, yeah, so it was, yeah. yeah. Was and then fun. there was also a Smalls Exchange. Yeah. So let me show you um, what I got. And it came in this lovely box. Yeah. And this was from my friend Bev. Mm -hmm. So happy um, to to get this, and it says um, Stitch Sisters, and it's got her initials with the date on it, and it's a cute, cute little flat fold. So very, very pretty. Very nice. I love it. So excellent job, Bev. And anytime you want to um, stitch something else, you just <laughs> you just let me know. Oh, gosh. And I got this box made by um, McKenna, the 1844 stitcher. Mm -hmm. And that looks like a cute witch with a thimble for a hat. And very, very nice. Uh, Let's see, I don't have any jewels to put in here. <laughs> so I guess maybe I'll have to put uh, some stitching in. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Let me show the inside of this. Maybe the heat's put it together, huh? Oh, wow, yeah. I guess we'll have to wait for a let's cooler see. day. <laughs> let's see. Oh, oh go. you got it. You there cracked we go. the code. Yep. Yep. So, there she is. Yeah. So I can put all my. So this is um plus. This is oh let me see if we can get McKenna's information there. The eighteen eighty four stitchery. McKenna has a um a website. So go go check her out. And oh uh, yeah. Floss treasures in mm -hmm. there. Yep. yep. Yeah, it came with two, uh, the two inserts there. So, very nice. Yeah, that was fun. Um, here, put, oh, yes. Put the, um, and we also managed to get some haul. We did. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, uh, we didn't necessarily have to leave uh, the, the stitching room to to get some haul. Um, uh, Arlene had um, some of her designs there. Um, there were some people who were selling uh, fat quarters of fabric, um, some selling um, pins and charms. Um, Abby had some needle minders and some project bags. Uh, so you didn't even really have to leave to, uh, to no. yeah, to make yeah, a dent in your wallet. Plus uh, the uh, giveaway table. Was oh, the freebie table. Quite yeah. extensive. Yeah, yes. it was. Yeah. it was extensive. A and a couple of people really mentioned different. how that they tried to neaten things up before Jane arrived, <laughs> so that she wouldn't have to work the whole time. <laughs> Amy kept saying to me, Jane. Stop straightening up. Stop straightening up. <laughs> so. Oh, and we clearly should mention Amy Gable Stitcher. Oh, yes. And Lynette yes. stitching on the home front mm -hmm. with us. Right, so yes. That was great to see them. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, so did we want to show how about Paul or what we yeah. picked up there? Yeah, or? yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Do you All right. Do... Okay. Yeah. So... Where to begin, huh? Mm. So, um, as you said, there's quite a bit of things there. And I mentioned I was going to that shower <laughs> next week, and, and Maureen spotted this cute card for me. So this has got to be my next quick stitch. I'm going to get that ready in time. And then um, a Buckeye Stitcher, Nicole, mm -hmm. um, we don't exactly know what the connection is with this, but 
she came in with a large quantity of uh, Lori Holt or Fat Quarter Shop mm -hmm. items. Mm -hmm. And Jane picked up a number of cute items off there for me. I was way too busy stitching to <laughs> yeah. get up and go over and look yeah. myself. Yeah. Uh, These are the remnants. It was uh, it was yeah, a feeding frenzy. It so was. Um, yeah, totally. so I just uh, kind of bided my time. And then I picked up this quite that's intricate. A, that's a big yeah yeah from yeah. Ships Manor mm -hmm. Halloween. Yeah, that was just just What's on it the um, Halloween. At the oh, manor. Oh, Halloween at the manor, yeah. Um, okay. There was just on the freebie table. There was a yep. really loads of stuff there. Oh, that's a, this is the other stuff. Oh, I guess the only other couple of things. I did get a number of things, but then in the interest of getting it all home, I did <laughs> kind of purge beforehand. Um, cute Norman Rockwell. This is an oldie. Anyone that remembers Paragon. Mm -hmm. And oh, quite complete. It has all these... I like this one. Stitches, yeah, yeah, a lot of cute ones there. Yeah. Excuse me while I. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Got it. All right. That one way under there. Thank you. All right. So I guess excuse me. To, oh, one more thing. I guess I got. Oh, two more things I got. Um, maybe three more things I got from the free. Maybe table. ten more things you got. I, I had this book and I gave it away um, a number of years ago. And then I was saying to um, Jane, much to my chagrin, I was looking through it and came upon <laughs> a good marriage. A chart that Which I is one of Chris's whips this year. Uh -huh. So I decided I would take this back. <laughs> So that I wouldn't do that again. I wouldn't rebuy that. Because um, there might be other ones in there. You yeah, there could be. And, um, oh, I just realized this even still has a charm on it. Nice. Um, I love Sue Hillis. I just You've been looking at this for a long I time. I have. I yeah. have. And there it was just sitting waiting for me. Mm -hmm. So I picked that up. And, oh, I picked up this complete kit. The first pride kit for um, our friend Jen um, that we that goes to our stitching group and um, she always loves doing rainbow projects and so I mm -hmm. texted her and said uh, would you want this and she's like sure so I think that was maybe it and then we headed off to Needleworkers Delight mm -hmm. and I had ordered this needle bling pattern from market and I hadn't got my order so I said I'm here and I'd like <laughs> to pick it up so they had this one I had also ordered a button for another project and they didn't have that but it was fun to get this because my good friend Jane gave me a rolling pin I've been dying to do a finish like that so now I'm set to go now you have no no excuses no not excuses. to um, the other one that I decided I would get there is um, very familiar to most of you. This is the day by Plum Street Samplers. This is the day the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And I love that. Mm -hmm. um, so that'll be a fun stitch. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. I don't think I have too much more in here, but, but um, a couple. I never saw this, um, sorry, this um, designer before, although Jane and some other people said they were familiar with Soda Stitcher. Soda and Stitch, yeah. Soda Stitch, mm -hmm. and which I believe this is Korean. And I won't open the patent to show you, but it's just gorgeous. It's like all the bright colors that you see on here, and it's so easy to read and just looks like it would be really fun stitch mm -hmm. and it will look really nice in your kitchen when you yes. get it done yes it will maybe behind us <laughs> and this is a just a funny one um this is by romy's creation 
and cozy winter samplers it's a dog i don't know how closely you can see that mm -hmm. all cozied up with the alphabet around them i guess stitching away <laughs> and i think that was it okay yeah um all right let me see oh i almost forgot so one of the fun things um, oh yeah when when uh, people had a finish. Uh, we got these, <laughs> and uh, when people had a finish, <laughs> <laughs> so that was fun. That was really fun. I didn't have any finishes, but <laughs> yeah. I enjoyed other people's. <laughs> we could all partake in that. <laughs> yep. Um. So I, um, let's see. At um, Needle Workers Delight, I decided that I would get some of the polka dot fabric. So this is um, uh, 36 count linen, light ash gray and white. And you know, you guys have seen this, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, Did you get that and, for anything um, in particular? Um, yeah, I'm gonna do the, um, is it little, I think it's the little stitcher. The Arctic um, animals oh, and yeah. the winter animals. Um, so good. I think those will look cute on this. And then I also got another, um, and this is uh, white uh, and antique blue. So, nice. and this is 32 count. And um, because I could, mm -hmm. I got uh, Lily of the Valley. This is a 32 count um, Lugana. I've been looking for some um, green, Greenish. green fabric. Yeah, that is very pretty. Uh, very really, nice modeling in that. I can't really tell that it's all that green, but it's, um, I like it. So I wasn't too bad with fabric. No, I you weren't. I, I could have been worse. You could have been, you have been. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have to make up with it? <laughs> something else? Um, yeah. And I saw this. Um, that's, that's, you, that's you, Jane. It is. Yeah. So this yeah. is called Christmas Blessings. It's uh, needle bling designs. You know what that so reminds me of? I'll be doing this. Me of, um, while we were at Needleworkers Delight, there were a couple of ladies who were there stitching. Uh -huh. And one of them was oh. working on this, um, I guess you call it a nativity scene. Yep. I wish I knew... I wish I could think of, is it Marbach or something? I don't, not sure now, but you would know it. It's a classic and it's yeah, classic, but it's, it's I think I have. It's that huge <laughs> one with the- The triptych. Yeah, the crush in the middle, the uh, the wise men, and then on the ends is uh, probably shepherds or yeah, something. It's, yeah, It's got a huge uh, angel and it's got like, um, custom um, Frame, frames like for it, but right. they come in all pieces. Right. Um, and like Jane but, said, I don't think mm, we ever actually saw someone working on I've never it seen in person it. before. No, no there is yeah. a, there is a um, Facebook page for it. Though. Oh, okay. Yeah. And um, this woman that we were talking to about it, she, I think, did some of those animals separately, right? Because I think she said her wall wasn't big enough to like have the <laughs> whole thing, so she was going to do it with the um, some of the animals set up in front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really gorgeous. Yeah, oh. yeah. Um, and I had never seen this. This is Canterbury Designs, um, another uh, Noah's Ark. Uh, the thing uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to get this because the thing about this is that um, <laughs> the. the the animals are not two by two. <laughs> so, anyway. But I got it anyway. Poetic license. Yeah, right. I thought this was cute. I've never mm -hmm. heard of Dirty Annie's before. Dirty Annie's Southern Style. And I can move that. Um, this it, this chart is called Claws. Um, and you get two patterns. You get the crab. And you get a lobster, and then you get the lobster floss um, oh. drop. Uh, what's it called? Floss oh. thing. I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, or you could stitch the um, stitch the lobster, 
put it on a frame like this, and then you could stick this on to the frame. Anyway, uh, I'd never seen that yeah. designer before, so yeah. I decided to get it. Uh, this is just another fish pattern <laughs> that I thought these pink fish were very cute. Uh, this is um, from Pegasus Publication. Nice compliment to your other piece. Yes. Um, and then I just thought this was kind of cool. Uh, this is called Wolf Serenade, another um, Pegasus publication. Um, but it's this pack of wolves. And I like it in the um, the purples and greens. I thought that's... That Jeez, looks, it looks that like looks on the back neat. you could do a whole pack of wolves. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, five different wolf, yeah. different wolf designs. So, um, so that's what I got from Needleworkers Delight. Then, like I said, I um, spent some money without even <laughs> even leaving the even stitching room. Out to it. Yeah, <laughs> um, and I I got um, some charts from Arlene Cohen. Uh, works by ABC, and. Uh, she has this um, trio that I th just think is so clever. Um, I'll show you this one first. It's called Sunset. And Sunset is done, these charts are done by creating the same pattern over and over and over, but with different colors. So this is the same motif throughout the whole chart, um, but using, um, let's see, she uses Gentle Arts. And I just think that this is um, just a really clever idea. And so that's Sunset. And then this one, Lake. And um, this one, uh, landscape and they look really great in person mm -hmm. yeah they did um, and then the other chart that I got is uh, Rosanna um, Dissery and this is um, from the um, New York African Free School and it was reproduced from a sampler in the collection of the New York um, Historical Society. Um, so, I just think that this is um, a beautiful little chart and there's lots of history to this and the chart itself, it is thick, but it contains mm. a lot of information um, about Rosanna Dissery and her um, sampler um, included um, with the chart. So um, I just thought that this was, she, uh, Rosanna Dissery was uh, 15 from the New York African Free School, April 1820. Mm. And um, so I just love that. Um, so that's all I bought. Um, there was also a raffle, mm -hmm. and um, so uh, buying tickets for the raffle and the money went to, um, I forget what no the- No-kill shelter. A, a no-kill yeah. shelter. I can't remember what the name of the shelter was, but um, yeah, it was a no-kill shelter, so um, we contributed uh, to that cause. Um, they had some yeah, really- Near to our hearts. Yes. They had some really great um, raffle prizes from threads to um, uh, fabric, um, bags. Uh, there was a quilt. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there was just all kinds of like baskets um, from um, Colorado yeah, Stitcher, Stitcher and it was a um, popular one. Uh, yeah, and yeah. Um, there was a Canadian basket. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was there was just there were many many donations, um, and I know that Arlene was very appreciative for for those, and um, we did surpass the 
um, amount That's that was raised um, last time, which was, well, I guess, yeah. three, three years ago because of COVID. Um, but um, Chris and I were lucky enough <laughs> to uh, win um, a couple of things. Um, do you want to show yours first? Yes, yes. I won uh, one of the week's floss packages and I was entering these in my Cross Stitch Plus app the other day mm -hmm. and there were 17 I believe mm. on here yeah. so that was very nice uh -huh. nice blend of colors yeah, pretty and then I won a piece of Weeks fabric and that is lovely as well yeah that is Let's see if we can get the yeah 36 count there. putty a fat quarter that's not bad right no. there yeah that's no. that's pretty much the color right there and i did win a little pair of pineapple scissors that i thought i put out but i can't find them at the moment okay yeah all right. So that was fun. Yeah, you were yeah, lucky. Yeah, did, did yeah. Did you bring your own winnings or no? I did, yes. Yeah, show that. That's very impressive looking. So I was mentioning a, a woman named Barbara who um, did a little, the, um, the little uh, ort. Um, and um, what's it called? Ort. It was the ort container and ort support. Um, and she also... Uh, made this um, little gift set. This is um, Blackbird fabric, and I'll show you what the set looks like. Put together lovely too. Yeah, yeah. So in here is a, what do you call these things? Fl um, floss. Floss. Or no? Yeah, I forget what they're called, but um, and little tab oh, yeah. here. The place for needle. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So you can bet I'll be yeah. using that. Um, and we got, I got this little, there's a little bag uh, with a vinyl front and a cute. Um, cute little, cute little charm on there. And then finally, the big bag, which is another vinyl front and a very nice uh, needle pull. And uh, so I yeah, was four. very, very, very happy yeah. to, to get that. That was also so, a very popular one. Yeah. 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 So. Um, yeah. Yeah, I was I was really happy, and um, I was also happy to support our fur babies. Yeah, so <laughs> which I would have done without the without the prizes. But that was an added. But it was incentive. just an added bonus. Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So um, we have hit 700 subscribers Yay. thank you very much thank you. and um we'd like to um do some uh pass the stash uh so um we'll um show um we have seven things that we would like to pass on to people and um if you would like any of these um like us like us subscribe subscribe be 18 or over. 18 or over. And we'll give you a word. Yes. For each one. Yep. Um, and, you know, don't say free or giveaway or, you know, any of those trolling kind of words. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and, and Jane, you'll it, write down the word so we'll remember what I that is. I most definitely <laughs> will. Mm -hmm. um, and so you can comment down below and we will do the random comment picker um, and pull uh, just before we do our next yeah. floss tube. Which hopefully will be two weeks. Yeah, so what's today? Today's is 27th. Right. Most likely the second weekend in yes. July? Yeah. 
Does that sound good? Yeah, second Saturday in Let's make July. that August. I mean, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Don't make it I want to go yeah. back. Uh, July's gone too quick. <laughs> All right. So we'll pull on, right. we'll pull on the probably the Friday before the second weekend in July, in uh, August, whatever date that is. And you can enter as many as you want, put in as many words as you want. Yeah. Uh, limited to one win mm -hmm. per viewer. Mm -hmm. Yep. And okay. number What's one first? is a little Mill Hill kit. Complete kit. What's New. the name of it? Hibiscus. Okay. What do you want to use Got for the, a word? Let's go with hibiscus. <laughs> okay. Can All you right. spell that? Yes. All right. Uh, and for our viewers, that's H I B I S C U S. Hibiscus. All right. Next, we have an ink circle pattern, also brand new, and let's use lichen for that, L-I-C-H-E-N. <laughs> That's the name of the chart? Yes. You're being really hard on these people. <laughs> You're being really hard. <laughs> Might ease up as it goes on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have Noel. This is an all through the night pattern. Christmas Eve, of course. Mm -hmm. Are we going to use the word Noel? Let's. Okay. <laughs> Next, we have a Mystic Stitch. It's really beautiful. It's autumn in New England. I love this one. Yeah, we both do. Um, these were from um, Marie, who used to be part of our stitching group at the World in Stitches, mm -hmm. and she moved to the Channel Islands. Mm. So she did a lot of past the stash before she left. Yep. And we really love this, but we have come to the conclusion that we will never stitch this. It is a lot. Yeah. It is a lot. Yeah. It's a gorgeous picture, though. It's a gorgeous so chart. So for some but... lucky, mm -hmm. ambitious stitcher. <laughs> That's right. Someone who's, someone who's younger than us. Yeah. Better yeah. <laughs> <Get our> eyesight. <laughs> Shall we go with autumn? Autumn it is. All right. Okay. Next, we have... How many a... do we have here? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, two more. Oh, two more? Oh, okay. wait a minute. One, two, three, no, four. Four, four. okay. Right. Yeah. Let me count counted. Yeah, this okay, out. sorry about that. That's all right. This is a beautiful Rosewood Manor, mm -hmm. the language of flowers. And this also fits in that category of this is really beautiful, but mm -hmm. we're not going to do it. Yeah. But maybe you are. I really so. like that one, too. It, I, it was hard for me to part with that, but... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing it, so. Yeah. I want someone else to enjoy it. I think maybe it was this a um, Galleria purchase, or? Maybe, yeah. I yeah. Think so. so, let's go with flowers for this one. Okay. All right. Next, we have a full kit. Hmm. Uh, kind of a vintage stitch, and... Jane was saying she just saw this completed at StitchCon, and it was yeah. really beautiful. Um, it's called House, oh, House of, of Hardanger. Mm. Whoa. Shall we go with House and make yeah, it easy Yeah, let's do that. People? Let's do okay. that. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll go with We house. want people to keep watching us. Right, right. <laughs> at, at least the the word is easy, if not the actual process, right? Right. <laughs> right. I think it's a beautiful kit, though. It is beautiful, yeah. And then we have another vintage kit. This is Flower Shop by Country Sampler. Again, whole kit. Lots of colors in there. And I say... Hmm. Shop for that? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So that should be seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, okay. it is. Okay. All right. So remember, like us. Mm -hmm. Subscribe. Subscribe. And in your routine. And, and put down the right word. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, and like I said, we'll, we'll pick second Friday in August. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. That brings us to plans. Plans. What do you got? Well, uh, I guess I'm not sure because I know that our new Bossy numbers were picked. Oh yeah. By Kathy at Two yep. Needles Pulling Thread, yep. but I have not checked my spreadsheet yet. You haven't? So, no, I haven't. Ooh, I gotta wow. do that. I yeah. Just had a chance to get yeah. on the computer. How'd you do for last month? Last month wasn't strong for me. Okay. I got to go back and look. Mm -hmm. I probably hit a few because I think I had some kind of generics in there, like work on something I could finish. And, um, <laughs> well, I might even you could have, finish uh, everything. <laughs> <laughs> but I really could, but, uh -huh. or I really should finish. And I think I might have had, like, Stitch on a Gift, mm. so I've done that. Mm -hmm. um, I might have had Stitch on a Prairie Schooler, too. But I don't think I've probably necessarily reached all those goals. But okay. i, I got to go back and look. But I love doing this, mm -hmm. and I'm really excited for the next lineup. Mm. Yep. So, so I'm going to do that later tonight, okay. see what that is. So anyway, aside from that, mm -hmm. um, there's no reason I can't finish Prairie School Santa and my little be jolly. Oh yeah. So that's that's yeah. priority one. Oh, and I got to do that card for the shower. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> that's really priority one. Yeah, that really is priority one. I got to like, I got to get going on that tonight. <laughs> Forget about checking boss me. <laughs> what about you? Uh, so uh, for um, July's boss me, I I put. Twice on the board, I put to stitch on my head for um, 20 hours, and they both got picked. So you need another week of stitch, vacation. Stitch on my head for 40 hours, um, which is actually not that bad when you think about it, because it's like an hour a day, you know, yeah. a little, a little yeah. more than an hour a day in the month. Um, but you know what? It days does in seem there that like you didn't yeah, really have no that opportunity. No, so I'm gonna have to catch up. Um, um, but you know, I I could change it, but I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna keep gonna that as. A, out, I think huh? I'm gonna keep that as a challenge. Right. Yeah, I want to. I want to stitch forty hours yeah. on that. Yeah, I mean so. forty hours. Can you imagine? I know, right? That would really make a difference. It would. Yeah, it would. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I'll do that. Um, there's a, um, as Chris said, the next four were picked. Um, I have to do a little bit of, um, one of them was to, um, finish a, um, block on button up. Oh, um, you're so close. Too. I know, but, uh, I have to do a little bit of recharting because, the, oh, um, yeah. I want to rechart, uh, I have one block that I don't want to stitch that's on the pattern and I want to substitute in a block. I have to just do a little recharting. Um, you to should make it do fit. that though, because then when there is a snow day, you'll be all set. Yeah. Well, I mean, if I if I do, I only have like really two more blocks to do. Oh, yeah. Then so you have new snow day. It's a, that's right. Yes. So um, if I do that, and then I'll, then I'll only have the word block to do. So um, I want to do that, and then um, my my husband's. Um, works at a radio station and they're mm -hmm. actually moving. And so they were giving away um, some of the furniture and he asked me, um, you know, did I want anything? And they had a, a double, um, a, a two drawer file cabinet that's kind of like, you know, a double wide. Um, and so I said, yeah, put it for that. And he won it. <laughs> So he was lucky too. Yeah. So so we got home. So we got home from New Jersey, yeah. and my husband and I went to pick that up. So oh, then, yeah. so then we yeah. So we oh, went and oh, we got it. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to use that cabinet for all of my um, charts. And I've decided that if a chart does not fit in there, then I need to get rid of it. So, Ooh, all right. <laughs> yeah. So I, I mean, future, this is a uh, this is a this is a big cabinet. You it know, is. I have I have no business 
having more charts than would fit into this cabinet. So um, I really, um, yeah. Will you call so. me the day you're going to do that, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, but I do have some charts that, like, I know that I'll never stitch. But you still like them? Well, it's like, what if I need a plain motif? Or what if I need a dog? Or if I need a cupcake or something, That's you know? True. I So there are some charts that I have that are like that, that I may need someday, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway, so that's um, that's that's kind of my plans is to organize that cabinet and my uh, charts. So well, I guess I kind of have a big plan like that too. You know, I've kind of had a stitch room for two years, but I never really fully moved into it. I mean, mm -hmm. my belongings are there, but it was sort of more of a holding place. And I think our son is moving back. September 1st. So <laughs> I've got a lot of consolidation and moving to do, mm. I think, mm. with that. Mm -hmm. So I got to get cracking on yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Can't you give him your daughter's room? <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> but <laughs> it's kind of been claimed too by my husband. Oh, so okay. I don't know. Uh all right. <laughs> so. yeah, yeah, I think my stuff will be moving to the garage, but <laughs> <laughs> I would like to get it in some semblance of order first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, gee, I'm looking so. out. There is just a gorgeous sunset here tonight. Mm. Yep. I don't know if you can see yep. it from Very nice. that vantage point, but it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Um, so, um... That'll do it for us, I guess. Yeah. So I we'll think see so. you, next time. you know, in a little more than two weeks, I think. And um, until then, um, be well, and we will see you soon. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.